What's up everyone? My name is Sleepwall and today I'll give you a high level overview of what Treasure DAO is all about as well as show you how to purchase the magic token. But before we get into it, I do have a small favor to ask. Something like 97% of all the viewers of this channel are not subscribed. If that's you, consider subscribing. With that out of the way, let's read the explanation of Treasure on the site. Treasure bridges the growing network of metaverses through an open and composable approach to the convergence of NFTs, DeFi, and gaming. Cross-ecosystem ties are bolstered through our interrelated resource model, Magic, aka Power, Treasures, aka Resources, and Legions, aka Players. So what does this actually mean? I've read the white paper and here's what I learned. Treasure is building a metaverse called the Bridge World. It will be a play to earn game with quests, summons, battles, etc. But that's not everything. The vision is for the bridge world to become a layer zero for other metaverses. Treasure DAO would bootstrap other metaverse projects by incorporating them into their ecosystem. And the magic token would act as a reserve currency for multiple metaverses, all connected by the bridge world. Treasure DAO would decide what projects get onboarded and how the magic token would be emitted. And I think that's the most important part. There could be a future where multiple metaverse projects are bribing magic token holders for their votes, aka curve wars, but for the treasure ecosystem. But even that's not everything. On top of all of this, treasure has built an NFT marketplace where all users use magic token to acquire NFTs that are part of the treasure ecosystem. Let's look at this marketplace. Currently, it is doing over a million dollars in sales per day with up to 2.5% going to the DAO. And as you can see, there's only N collections on this marketplace. So just imagine the potential. For example, Small Brains has done 11.2 million magic in volume. Yeah, insane. But even that's not everything. In 2022, Treasure is planning to release a generalized NFT marketplace denominated in ETH, which will act as an extra source of revenue for the DAO so that, so that all the goals of making Treasure an ecosystem that's able to support multiple metaverse projects come true. So hopefully that gives you a general idea of what Treasure is all about. There's still more details that I'm not covering. So Hopefully that inspires you to take a look at their white paper uh, because I think it's pretty important and there's multiple ways you can participate uh, in this ecosystem. Now I'll show you how you can purchase the magic token. So Treasure DAO is on Arbitrum Layer 2 network, which means that you would need to bridge to it. And there's multiple options to do it. The first one and the easiest is using Lee Finance. And that option actually allows you to purchase and bridge all in one go. All you gotta do is select from what blockchain you're coming from, the currency you're gonna use. I'm just gonna put 0.5 ETH just as an example. And then here you select Arbitrum and here you will select Magic. Now it will give you multiple options uh, and multiple routes you can take uh, to make this trade. The most efficient one is right here. I would get 468 magic or my 0.5 ETH. But to be honest, that's not the best option in my opinion, even though it's the fastest, simply because you will be paying a lot in fees. And also, if that's your first time using Arbitrum, you would need to have some ETH in your wallet to move your magic anywhere after you've purchased it. Purchased it. So you would still need to bridge at some point even if you use this option. My personal favorite is Arbitrum Bridge, the native bridge by Arbitrum. Just connect. Here you are able to add the Arbitrum network to your network, uh, to your MetaMask network tab if you haven't already. And uh, all you gotta do here is just enter how much you're bridging. This bridge only works with Ethereum mainnet. So if you're bridging from any other network, that would not be the option for you you would have to use Synapse or SeaBridge. Just open both of these, compare where the best rate is, and use one of them. I'll, I'll leave all the links in the description. Now back to Arbitrum Bridge. 
enter the amount you're bridging, click deposit. Here it says it will take around 10 minutes for the bridge, um, for the bridging process to complete. Uh, click deposit, MetaMask should show up. And if you're actually bridging, just click confirm and wait 10 minutes and you will have your funds in Arbitrum. I won't be bridging this time. So once you have your funds in Arbitrum, switch networks. And once you've switched, go back to the treasure.lol site and click this magic button. This button will take you to Sushi and that's where we will buy our magic. Sushi is also a little laggy on Arbitrum, so you may need to refresh it multiple times before it actually shows you the numbers. You may need to press some buttons like this. Okay, here we go. As you can see, 0.1 ETH buys me 98.1 magic at this moment. Once you're ready to swap, click swap, then confirm swap. I actually don't have enough funds for this trade, but then you would just confirm your trade and you would have your magic in your wallet. So what can you do with this magic that you just purchased? Well, there is two options. The first one is going to the mine and staking it. This is the Genesis mine. Uh, all you need to participate in this mine is just some magic. Just like it says here, stake magic, earn magic. Um, if you do have some magic in your wallet, this button would be active. You would be able to click it and then stake your magic. Here, you would be able to collect your magic pretty much any time you want, uh, the magic you've earned. But the magic that you've staked gets locked for a certain amount of time. I believe at the moment, the only option um, that you can lock for is two weeks. So when you do lock, you won't be able to move your magic no matter what. So do keep that in mind. But the magic that you've earned through staking is always available to be claimed. Another option is going to the marketplace and spending it on some NFTs. Let's look at small bodies. So the current floor is 1,269 magic. All of these collections have their own lores and have their own utility. Um, so if you are interested in this um, ecosystem, I urge you to read the docs so that you fully understand what's going on here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Thank you.